Hello. Um, the subject of this video is what is the difference between the Wim Hof method and pranayama. And um, I've been triggered to make this video because, you know, like, I know we have to focus on the positive and most uh, comments on my videos are extremely positive. But sometimes there are people saying that like Wim is a charlatan because he stole this from the ancient pranayama and things like that. And of course, you know, if a, if a friend is put down in a comment and honestly, you know, well, this is the reason to make this video, there is a difference between pranayama uh, exercises and, uh, and the Wim Hof method. But um, I also find it a bit, you know, like on nuance to to put somebody down as like a, a thief. And I, I really don't like that, but you know, so th this is for me the reason to uh, share a bit about, about Pranayama and the Wim Hof method. First of all, Wim has been in India and he speaks Sanskrit and you know, the guy is absolutely trained when it comes to the old yoga exercises, basically. You know, he's six years old, he can still do a split. <laughs> which he often likes to show as well. But um, of course, pranayama is a very, very big, you know, like pool of different breathing techniques. Now within pranayama, there's like some breathing techniques are what I call parasympathetic. They slow you down. Yeah, they give you like more space, more calmness and more, um, yeah, like a meditative state. Um, for example, the alternate nos nostril breath, you know, nose in, nose out. I have a video about that also on my channel. But um, what I would like to focus on are two pranayama techniques. Um, one is called Kapalabhati. Often when you do hot yoga, at the end you do Kapalabhati, which is like focusing on the breath out, <laughs> snapping your belly in. And the other one is breath of fire, which is focusing on equal breath in breath out <laughs> focusing on your solar plexus now <clears throat> although I'm, I'm pretty sure that women is inspired by a lot of things you know the difference between these pranayama techniques and Wim Hof method breathing is there's a very big difference I would say which is you know like first of all with Kapalabhati it's the focus is on the breath out and the breath in goes automatically. While with Wim Hof breathing, the focus is on the breath in. And let it go. And the breath out, there's no protocol. So that's like a clear difference. But also I would like to go a little bit deeper on um, uh, into the subject here. Um, if you look at your breath, basically um, there is like a zero line. And if you breathe in deep, you go up while if you breathe out you go below that zero line and then all the way out now for example just notice when you are in bed and you're almost falling asleep and you still can can think and analyze your breath you will notice that it's on the lower end of this zero point so breathe in and so if this is a zero point breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. Now, when you look at that graph and there's a zero point here, if you would look at Kapalabhati, it would start at the zero point, breathe out forcefully, breathe in automatically, breathe out forcefully, breathe in automatically, like that. If you look at a breath of fire or the way I learned it, yeah, I'm not claiming to be a pranayama teacher here, but the way I learned it is that you go around that zero point in, out, in, out. Focusing on your solar plexus. Now, if you look at the Wim Hof breathing, so just to summarize, Kapalabhati, breathe out, back in, breathe out, back in. Breath of fire, in, out, in, out, in, out, along that zero point. So it's a bit superficial breathing, but you speed it up. Uh, Wim Hof breath, the, the, the Wim Hof breathing consists of three parts. Right? I'm sure you know this, but breathing in deeper, then breathing out, holding, and then phase three is recovery breath, breathe in and hold for 15 counts. 
Now in this deeper breathing period, we um, breathe in like if this is a zero point, more like, more like fully in, breath out, let it go. Fully in, breath out, let it go. So um, in summary, these two pranayama techniques are focused on one on breathing out and the other one on superficial in out in out wim hof breath focuses on the breath in and then letting it go so there's a clear difference between these pranayama techniques and the wim hof method so so um well i just wanted to um yeah talk a bit about how i understand this all right and then when it comes to the feeling you get, and I can only talk about my own experience, of course, is that when I do Kapalabhati or Breath of Fire, it's a little bit different, but I get like an extreme release of happy hormones. So if I feel unhappy, I might want to do like pranayama techniques. But what happens with the Wim Hof breathing, it's like it goes very, very deep into my physiology. Sometimes I feel happy, but tears are coming from my eyes. Sometimes I feel warm, cold. So there's a lot for my from my perspective and not because i'm a wim hof instructor um, the wim hof breathing goes much more into depth but if you if i just want to release happy hormones you know like a quick fix then i would do pranayama techniques anyway you know like i love both of them you know like i know i'm an instructor in the wim hof method but I have done so much more. Well, probably it's about even now because I'm doing Wim Hof breathing every day, but I've been doing pranayama techniques for 15 years and I love both of them. So it's not about what's wrong and right and where it comes from. It's just to find out what works for you. So this is always what I'm, I'm telling myself, but also tell other people is find your breathing technique that works for you at this moment. You know, have a bit of discipline to do it every day and play with it. You know, maybe one month you want to do pranayama, kapalabhati, and then the other month, breath of fire, and then maybe another month you want to try Wim Hof breathing and just feel what is best for you and that is best for you. Okay, those were my whatever, five minutes, seven minutes. Uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification button so uh, you can be annoyed by me with every time that I put a video out, you will get like a little message in your email. And if you like this video, always appreciate it. Thank you. Hope this helped and talk to you soon. Bye bye.